Hello everyone, everyone six here, bringing another cast today. This one is going to be a relatively high ranking uh, 4 versus 4 on Anchor V2. So let's introduce the players first. Uh, down here we have Pappy, who is going light blue Aeon. We have Ikonu, who is going yellow Seraphim. We have Siege, who is going Cyan Seraphim. And then we have Ciro, who is going green Cybern. On the north side, we have Ish, who is going red UEF. We have Zok, who is going uh, orange Cybern. We have Westmania, who is going uh, maroon Cybern. And then we have Death Megatron 3000, who is going purple Aeon. Uh, now, this map is its kind of interesting how it works. Uh, so on each team, you have one air player and then three front players. Uh, your air player, of course, is going to be competing with the other air player for control over the airspace. Uh, but the front players, you have one front player down here. That's center a little more. Uh, you have one front player who is going, who is going to be competing over this ocean and, uh, and all the reclaim in the ocean. And then these two players over here are going to be competing with the other two players' mirrors and fighting over all of these mexes. Uh, like you, over here on the anchor part, which is, which is where the uh, map gets its name. Also on these little cliffs right here. And this area here, which also has a hydrocarbon, is a nice bonus. And the other thing about this map is that you have a, a whole ton, a whole mess of reclaim. You can see all the reclaim, especially over here uh, by the cliffs and in this little circle right here. And then down here, right for the naval players to uh, fight over right here. Uh, so there's not a lot of reclaim in the base, but there is a lot to fight over it. So you're going to see uh, uh, some players that are going to be trying to rush in the middle. Uh, get that reclaim as fast as they can and try to reclaim all these extractors and uh, all these extractors as, as fast as they can as well. Uh, so uh, so this map encourages a lot of expansion instead of like basically turtling your base and not worrying too much about uh, the uh, the rest of the map. So we ha I can already see that the players are getting their initial engineers out. Uh, you see here's this hunter that's going to be uh, sent out from by Westmania who's going to be trying to take out any expansion engineers that are going on. Looks like that Eco Noob and uh, Eco Noob and Seas are sending out for are sending military units out first to escort their engineers. Uh, looks like that. However, this hunter is going to catch this one off guard. Looks like looks like he's targeted the engineer, but he hasn't. Uh, moved his hunter yet to specifically take it out, but it looks like he has now. So he is going to take out this engineer. He's probably going to try to take out this uh, extractor as well. Yep, there's just the ping. Uh, Eco Noob is probably uh, telling his allies that the engineer has taken out one of his things. Not the engineer, the the lab. Uh, meanwhile, both looks like that this looks like that Ciro is starting to get his naval factory down. And is there one from the other side? It looks like there is. It looks like that uh, Ish is a little bit ahead of the game, and he already has the naval factory out and more build capacity that's building it. Uh, meanwhile, it looks like that uh, Death Megatron has already gotten his air scout out. Let's see what he's doing. It uh, looks like he's already flown over Siege's base, and he's uh, going to be uh, looping around. He's probably going to be going after Siege's base, then uh, Pappy's base, looking over Ciro, and then going over here and see if there's any expansion up here in the cliffs. Uh, meanwhile, it looks like that Hunter was taken out by Eco Noob. The, the, fam is of, the Hunter is, of course, no match for a Tham. And it looks like that uh, looks like that Zock and Westmania are both personally advancing forward. Uh, Zock's building a factory here, probably to get uh, some forward military presence, as well as a, a better state, a better place to get all this reclaim from. But it looks like it looks like that the the military units here are, uh, looks like that the uh, uh, it looks like Ikonu here is following suit. He's getting his military units here to oppose the w w expansion here from Westmania, who is pushing forward. And it looks like that the uh, uh, that uh, Ciro is getting in on the game too. He's pushed his units onto the anchor and is going to be helping to try to support his uh, his allies' land units. And it looks like that Megatron uh, landed on the island. I'm I'm just surprised. This looks like it would be something for the uh, naval players to fight over, not the air players. Uh, it looks like that the transport was shot down, uh, but it is going to cost uh, Pappy some interceptors. Meanwhile, as uh, Death Megatron. I'm just going to call him Megatron. As Megatron gets his uh, his land factory up on the island, it looks like there is some combat going on in the middle. Looks like that uh, Eco Noob and Westmania are getting closer and closer to each other as their uh, commanders move closer and closer to the center. And then Westmania looks like he's also has an engineer and he also has some uh, Mantis moving forward to the to the cliffs. But it looks like that Eco Noob also has some uh, Thams moving in there as well. A little run by from Zok. This is interesting. He's spearheaded by a mole, supported by these three three matches over here. 
probably going to be trying to cut off reinforcements or expansion engineers from Ikunu, but his, the, mantis, the mole was just destroyed, and the mantis are basically blind. They can fire, uh, I was going to say, they can, they can fire, uh, they can see beyond their firing radius, but without the radar, it looks like they're just going to back up and try to uh, return backwards. Meanwhile, Zok is still uh, poking and prodding around. Looks like that siege is now being under attack, too. Uh, looks like that the uh, looks like that the, the cliffs that uh, Ikunoop still has the uh, still has military control of the cliffs, even though he hasn't controlled any of the expansions yet. He is kind of kind of has a little crescent around West Mania's troops. And look down here in the naval game. Looks like that uh, Ish as he he got the head start on the naval production, and, he, and it's paying off for him now. He, he does have a a lot more boats out here in the water than uh, Ciro does. He only he's just got the naval factory built, and he's building a submarine. Doesn't look like he, he doesn't have any other uh, naval units out, so if he can get this quickly, he could deny the Navy for him right away. Uh, looks like that Westmania is taking the cliffs back away from Ikonoob, and both Zok and Westmania are trying to secure the center, uh, try to keep uh, their opponents away from it. Looks like that Zok built a, a little uh, little stealth PD. You know, that's, of course, most players have a template that looks like this with a PD in the middle and walls around it. Uh, but Zok just had. All, looks like that, that Zok has one that will just create the radar signature of that without actually uh, costing him an entire PD. So it's a lot cheaper to throw down and it can still scare your opponent if they only have radar coverage over the area. But it looks like that Siege already has his commander close enough to it. They can see that it is, so he's not going to be afraid of it anymore. And it looks like that Siege, that the, he did stem the tide of the military units from Zox uh, coming down further, but it looks like but he still has to push forward if he wants to take out this reclaim. Looks like he sees Zok. His engineers are already here in the middle using that factory reclaim order to uh, reclaim the trees and looks like some of the mass in the middle as well. And Westmania did uh, clean clean off all of the eco noobs uh, troops from the cliffs, but it looks like that Pappy had just dropped some engineers out, so he's probably going to build some. He's going to build up these mechs. He might build some factories as well to help establish a military, uh, a permanent military presence here. And you can also see. Uh, Pappy dropped one engineer along the way for, to get each of these mexes uh, that are on these little pillars that aren't accessible from the land. They might be ed able to be edge-built, edge but I don't know that. But he did claim all these extractors, and it looks like that uh, Megatron is just starting to claim his mass extractors on that side as well. Looks like that Westmania is still pushing forward. Uh, were these captured? No, they weren't captured. But it looks like Westmania did, uh, looks like Westmania did kill all the engineers from Pappy that were on that island. And he is going to be pushing forward. He's going to be sweeping around and, and uh, just claiming all the, the cliffs for himself and all that reclaim. Is it still there? Yeah, so there's still a bunch of reclaim uh, to be had in the middle. So these, uh, so uh, Eco Noob and Siege are going to want to push forward and try to claim this area back. Uh, meanwhile, it looks like that they, uh, they are taking care of uh, Megatron's factory on, this, on the other side. The engineers that were here were destroyed, probably by all the bombers that are around. It looks like that Ciro and Pappy are going to jointly ta be taking this out. And it looks like that Ciro himself is airdropping some engineers here, so he is going to be able to establish a presence here on the island, even though it looks like he he did lose his navy. It looks like that uh, Ish just completely rushed the factory, and before he could get any uh, significant naval presence out, he just completely blocked Ciro's navy, and that could come back to bite him uh, if he doesn't rectify the situation soon, because you don't want an enemy navy cause, uh, he, right here, right next to your base. It's only a T1 Navy now, so they can't do too much damage, but if he doesn't uh, solve that situation on, when he gets T2 Navy, then he'll have UEF cruisers on him, and that's not good for anyone. Except for Ish. It's good for Ish. Uh, so uh, looks like that, uh, it looks like that Ikunub is starting to push forward into the cliffs. It looks like Westmania doesn't have enough to oppose this force, so he is going to be back up a little bit and going to divert some forces over here uh, to help consolidate that area. Uh, meanwhile, it looks like the Eco Noob is still sitting here in the middle. He's getting an upgrade. I'm not sure what kind it is. I don't have the numbers memorized, so I couldn't tell you from there. But we'll see what he gets at when he's done. And it looks like that there was a little air battle above uh, Isha's Navy, but it looks like that Megatron does have that fairly secured. And Siege, uh, Siege has really pushed forward. It uh, looks like that Zok is trying to build an established position here, and so is Siege. He, he's, he's way beyond 50% of the map. Here's the 50% line right here. He's way beyond it. He has a bomber coming out. Let's see if it does it. He's probably not going to be able to do very much with the shield in the way. Now the bomb's just going to hit the shield and not do anything. But Ciro is building point defense. And Zok is... Looks like he... Either he has a... T yeah, he, so he has T2. Zok has T2 on his comm. So he is going to be able to build service turrets to outrange him. And it looks like that... Uh, it looks like that... Uh, 
Ooh, that's interesting. So it looks like EcoNoob has taken this area back, and uh, Pappy airdropped some more engineers here. So he's going to be able to build a factory there, probably claim all the reclaim that area as well. Uh, meanwhile, uh, but that also means that EcoNoob has taken over these, these cliffs as well, and Westmania is sending another Sol here to claim them. Neither side has actually gotten any uh, too many extractors up until now. It looks like that EcoNoob just got that one up. Looks like Zok is attacking uh, Siege in the middle. And Siege has got him down to less than half health. He needs, uh, Zog needs to be careful. He looks like he's, uh, uh, he, he could die if he's not careful. It looks like, th that's interesting. Uh, uh, Siege uh, took out this Cybern, uh, captured this Cybern auto gun. It is now working for him now. And it looks like that Ciro has uh, completely abandoned the naval game. He does have these Medusas that are attacking this frigate. Wait, is it going to go down? Is it honestly going to go down to T1 artillery? It is! <laughs> so, so these two Medusas, there might have been more, but these two Medusas took out an entire T1 frigate. That's the power of uh, Cybern, uh, Cybern stun effects. Uh, looks like that, uh, it looks like Siege and Zok are going to be establishing position now. Uh, looks like that there's a uh, cruiser out from Ish, so that uh, spells doom for Zero Space if he can get those close enough to get those uh, attack missiles in range. It looks like Eco Noob has rushed forward. And he did take out Pappy's base, uh, little proxy base right here. Yeah, he's built that twice already, and he got destroyed. I wonder if, uh, uh, just a pause. It's always annoying when that happens in a replay. It looks like that the Eco Noob and, uh, Eco Noob and Westmania are going to be attacking here again. And it looks like that Siege is closer on. Uh, Siege is uh, once again trying to uh, break the position from Zok. Uh, Zok is look like he's, he's he's building himself and he's trying to rebuild his shields. Uh, another pause. That's always annoying. Uh, so here's Westmania here. He has this nice little fortification, fortified position right here. Uh, he is being attacked by uh, the by mobile missile launchers from uh, Ikonub. It looks like uh, looks like that siege is going to be trying to attack uh, Zok's base over here, and the cruiser is ever slightly moving towards. Uh, at Ciro's base. And it looks like that's probably what Isha and Ciro are talking about, the fact that he lost his naval position. Uh, looks like that Westmania and Ikanuber once again fighting over the cliffs. Uh, over here, we have now we have some Zooies in the mix, so it's not just straight up Tham versus Mantis. Uh, the, the Zooies, of course, can uh, shoot over the cliffs, as you can see if I zoom in a little bit. Uh, so you can't fire down the cliffs if as a direct fire unit, but the artillery can shoot upwards and it is doing some damage to the Mantis. So he is probably is going to have an advantage there. And it looks like that Zok has this fortified position up, and Siege is doing uh, something that I, I think is kind of strange. He is uh, just sitting back and bombarding this air, this fortified position with ranged units. I wish there was a word for that in the English language, but I don't think there is. Uh, but uh, Ciro himself is moving forward. It looks like that uh, Ciro's commander took out this uh, uh, took out the uh, shield from Zok. The Cybern shields, of course, are always are very weak compared to the other faction shields. Uh, but looks like that Megatron is on uh, is on the case. He has sent some gunships over and some interceptors to protect them to help to help break uh, the the attack on Zok. Uh, meanwhile, there's going to be another attack on the cliffs over here. They're just going to be endlessly fighting over these cliffs, and I don't think any, they haven't even gotten to the reclaim here. Let's see. No, there's actually more more reclaiming units now than actual uh, ice. But now, as you can see at the bottom. Uh, looks like that Ish is going to be bombarding Ciro's base uh, with these cruisers. Let's see what their range is compared to on this map. All right, so this yellow line is the the range of the the cruisers and it goes all the way down. So it looks like that Ciro's base and uh, Siege's base are, is in range of the cruisers. Uh, so if they're not careful, if they don't get any torp bombers or anything to deal with this, and it looks like that uh, Siege's base could be in trouble as well. Meanwhile, Siege himself is up here with Ciro. They're both uh, digging in and. Uh, it looks like that they're both digging in, uh, but it looks like that Zok is now the one. He has Vipers, and he is also doing that strange thing where he is attacking Siege's position with long-range units, and I'm not entirely sure what that's called either. Uh, but uh, but he's but now they're on the now Zok is on the offensive. Uh, Ciro's comm is still healthy, but if he take but these uh, Vipers could do a lot of damage to him if he uh, doesn't keep moving and and doesn't uh, you know move his commander enough. Uh, meanwhile, it looks like the Ikunub has won this er, er, has won the cliffs back, and now he's actually taken out this position from Westmania as well. Uh, he might move forward. Uh, he is 
looks like he's fortifying up as well. He has two PDs, and he, now he has two anti-air. Uh, so he has a slight... He, he's getting troops, I'm not sure what that means. Uh, he is... Now he's now getting a slight fortified position over here, and West Mania is actually pulling back. Is that a TAC missile? It might be. That might actually have been TAC that he got in his commander. Oh, no, it can't be. He doesn't have a backpack. So where did that TAC missile come from? It was a Seraphim TAC missile, so let's see. It was a, it couldn't, it's too far to be a mobile missile launcher. Uh, we'll figure it out later. Uh, let's see what his what he got on his commander, though. Uh, looks like he got T2 on his commander. So uh, he is going to be able to build uh, T2 point defense. He is going to be able to build uh, TAC missiles and TAC defense on that commander. Uh, they're pinging this base down here. Ciro has completely lost his main base. Uh, he's just working on the mexes that he has on the front line. Here's one right here. And it looks like that Ish has also uh, pushed forward here on the anchor. Ciro did have a position here. He had two factories and all these mexes as well, but Ish has now pushed back and denied him that eco as well. It looks like Eco Noob is now attacking. He has Ilshavas. Uh, does West Mania have anything to deal with that? Uh, he doesn't have any. He does have a T2 factory, but doesn't have any T2 units out yet. Uh, so he is going to be pushing forward his units. Ciro is pushing forward his commander. This will be interesting. Uh, looks like that. Uh, so they just pushed back. They just killed this uh, extractor from West Mania. West Mania is still going to pull backwards. Uh, Zach and uh, Siege are now uh, fighting a MML war. You have two Vipers against six Yathias. And uh, the Vipers are going to lose that fight without, uh, uh, since they, they're still uh, just as good as taking out MMLs as every other MML launcher is. Looks like Ish is going to be diverting his forces uh, northwest. He's going to take out this other extractor from Siege. So Siege's eco, he still has 170 eco. I'm surprised. I'm, where's it all coming from? Does he have Rass on his commander? He might. Oh, oh. Wow, I'm, I'm an idiot. I was, I was... I was on someone else's, uh... Alright, so he has stealth on his commander, he's got T2, but not, doesn't have Rass, so... I, I was an idiot. I was, hi I was highlighted on someone else's. I'm not sure who it was. You're probably all just cringing in the, in the, watching the video right now, but, uh... Alright, looks like that, uh, looks like that Ish has pushed forward. He did destroy this factory from, uh, Siege. And Ciro is going to pull back. Looks like the Westmania and Eco are just going to line up right here, right in front of Westmania's base. Uh, Zak is going to push a little bit forward. Ciro is still using his com commander like a Rambo, and but he uh, he's probably uh, he uh, he's probably has a little bit more survivability than you think because he does have stealth on his commander. So uh, the other team probably can't see him. All right, they can see him now because of these things. But if he gets out of the uh, but if he, they kill these swift winds, then they won't be able to see his commander anymore. Uh, meanwhile, these uh, looks like that the cruisers are uh, fighting. Uh, these are going to be raining down on. Uh, Siege's base. Ciro did build some zappers as a helpful teammate to try to take out these uh, uh, these tack missiles from the cruisers, but the cruisers are designed to overwhelm tack defense, so it's not going to work. Uh, so so he so Ish can push out more cruisers than he could p push out tack missiles uh, tack defense at the same time. Uh, so Ish so if this continues, Siege is probably going to lose his base too. But he is building a chicken, and he's almost done with it. So this is going to if he can get it up the front line, uh, this could turn the tide of battle. Uh, if uh, team 2 does not do anything to respond to it. Uh, you see, even though they lo they've lost their base, their, um, their total mass numbers, you can see over here, the total mass numbers aren't too much different. T2 has a little bit of advantage, but the real difference is the fact that team 2 has, um, has a mass income advantage now. So they're relatively even on mass so far, but it's not going to change if they don't do something uh, really quickly. They did take uh, team 1, uh, the bot south team, did take out all of these cliffs they probably got all the reclaim, and they did get all the extractors on the, on the cliff side. So they do have a lot more extractors here in the middle. They've pushed forward, and see, they can they have more than 50% math control if you only consider the land. Uh, but they are losing their bases to the Navy. Uh, meanwhile, it looks like that West Mania has T3 out. He's got a brick over here, a loyalist over here, and Eco Noob doesn't have any T2 up here on the front line, at least, to deal with it. Uh, here's Ciro going to be marching straight towards a uh, brick, and it's going to overcharge it. So with that, uh, with the loss of that brick, looks like that West Mania is going to pull his T3 back and regroup. Uh, meanwhile, Ish has established his firebase over here, plus a clink hammer. Let's see what he's attacking with that. So he can that clink hammer to just that clink hammer's only purpose is to just take out this four or five position right here. That's the only thing he can do with it. Looks like that C just telling him to uh, kill Aaron Scout. Uh, I think they should probably take out this Navy. Whoa. 
How did Zock do that? Zock has a loyalist in the back of the base. He took out a T2 mechs with a, that was surrounded by uh, a T2 cat mechs over here. He's probably going to take out this one as well. He strayed too far, uh, too, he strayed too close to this oblivion turret, so he is getting attacked. And Pappy is just going to build more oblivion turrets, so he is probably going to be able to deal with this, even though it might do some damage to his economy. That chicken has now hit the front line. There's a monkey lord being built by Zock. Uh, Zock and Ish combined. He did give some of his. Uh, uh, Cyber engineers over to help him so that he could use his eco to build, but it's going not going to get out. It's going to be killed in the womb. Uh, the uh, Yathota is killing the engineer. He just killed half the engineers that were building it, and he's doing damage to the uh, uh, the monkey lord itself before it's even built. Uh, but we what they should do is he needs to do a lot, either do a lot of damage to Zox's base or he needs to kill a commander because uh, if they if they can kill this before it does any dam major damage, then T Team One will just reclaim it and they'll be able to bounce back from it. Uh, looks like that the uh, Monkey Lord is going to go down. There, there's the Monkey Lord. Just ex it still dies if it was a built Monkey Lord, but it wasn't even halfway completed when it was attacked. Uh, these two Loyalists are going to try, try to attack it. It's already down about 60% health. Uh, so, and he's moving forward. Where's he moving for He's moving towards West Mania's base. I'm, I wonder why. you think that Zok would be the better target, but it looks like Zok has already, know, uh, already seen the uh, Yathota and moved forward. They got stunned somehow. Probably got stunned by the uh, loyalist. You see, they just died. That little red glow. But uh, looks like that Megatron is on the case. He has strat bombers on it, so that's going to be about six thousand damage for each shot. It's around there. It's probably not completely accurate, but it's around six thousand damage per shot. Uh, this brick is going to be uh, this hero brick is probably going to be trying to attack it, but uh, the the Yathoda just going to kill him. And here's Westmania's commander. If he can, he see him. He can see, uh, see. Yep. So the. The commander is in range, and if he attacks him, then the West Mania will go down because, you know, of course, the Yathota is flat faster. Now that you have Mercies coming in, though, they only do 2,000 damage per shot. Uh, so now West Mania's com has been targeted. The, all three weapons from the Yathota targeting on the commander. Uh, he's walking backwards, so that's probably it. West Mania is going to go down. And there's there it is. But the Yathota himself has only 9,000 HP left, and he still has Strat Bombers on it. Strat Bombers and Mercies. So that uh, that you thought is probably going to go down, but it did do its job. It took out an entire player from the north side, and the uh, and Eco Noob is going to capitalize on it immediately. He's bringing forces over here to tr probably try to deny uh, Westmania's old Eco and all of that mass in his base from being attacked. But uh, it must have gained some veteran seeds because now it's got 15,000 health, and it's going to be attacking Zox bases now. So this is going to be one. One healthy Yathota, but it is one, not a healthy Yathota, but one useful Yathota. Uh, but it is going down now. It looks like that. He's got Mercies, and that's going to do it. <laughs> Killed by Mercies. But the, the, the Yathota's Lightning Storm is going to do some damage to Zox base. So that did help. That did help a lot. Uh, but Team 2, uh, Team 1, I'm sorry, still has a lot, uh, a lot more on its plate to deal with. It looks like that uh, Eco Noob has established a base up here, so he's fairly secure. Uh, but uh, Mega, uh, Megatron has T3 air, and uh, Pappy hasn't done anything to to contest this air spirit, air control yet. Let's see if Pappy even has. So he uh, he does have T3 air. He's just building. Uh, he just has two air superiority fighters. Uh, meanwhile, you, uh, you can see that's the, they have three air superiority fighters from Megatron plus about 22. Uh, uh, swift winds. So uh, Megatron still has the air superiority right now. So if they, if they, if he's able to catch Commander out in the open, they could just strap on him. Meanwhile, Ish is moving in with this uh, force that is mostly flapjacks with a couple of tanks. He's going to be moving down the anchor here. He's going to move down. It might probably try to attack uh, Eco Noob and Siege's base here in the middle. We'll see what it does. But meanwhile, Ciro and Eco Noob are going to be moving forward. Uh, years where uh, the crater where. Uh, West Mania was killed, and they're going to move forward, try to try to take out this, uh, uh, try to take out the economy of West Mania before they can get their hands on it. it looks like this one engineer from Zero is going to reclaim that T3 factory, and they are going to catch West Mania's air force. You can see these uh, are the fervor is going to be attacking the Swift Winds. They still they don't do very much damage to uh, uh, to the to the relatively high ranking, the relatively high HP of the T2 aircraft, uh, but they are going to do some damage to it, and it is going to help them in the air game. Uh, looks like that. Uh, looks like that. Uh, uh, Pappy does have this air scout going out. He's going to be looking. Let's see what he's looking for. He is here the whole time. Probably talking about Ish. Yeah. 
Ish is upgrading on his commander. It looks like there is T3, uh, T3 anti-air to help deal with the scout and any other T3 that T3 air that they could uh, deal with here. Look at all those ASF. He's probably got about eight ASF right there. And Ciro only has. Let's see how many Ciro has. Not Ciro. Pappy. Keep getting their names. He still only has two, so he's not building them right now. He's building his scouts. And there's this strap mama over here. We'll see where it's going. It's not going anywhere. Uh, strap mom is good, probably going to turn it back to base. Uh, let's see over here. You have Eco News Base over here still taking out. And it looks like that uh, Siege is building a nuke. So he's going to be putting all of his... So he is going to be trying to get this nuke up to do some damage. Let's see if there's any anti-nuke. Uh, they probably haven't seen it yet because they just started building it. But I don't see any, any anti-nuke in Zox Base. Uh, I don't uh, see any anti-nuke in Isha's Base. And it doesn't look like that uh, Megatron has any anti-nuke in his base either, unless I'm blind. I can't see it. I don't think they have any anti-nuke. So if he can get this nuke, so he can, if he can get this nuke loaded and built before built and loaded before they scout it, he might be able to get a, a nuke off before the before team uh, one even realizes what's happening. What's before team one even realizes what's happening? Looks like there's this tack launcher right here from Zero is going to be doing some uh, damage to uh, Zox's economy. There you see, he just took out this. Uh, Extra this T3 Max plus one of the mass storages that was attached to, and now it looks like Sierra has some engineers to try try to get a lot more reclaim. Is that looks like he has an entire plan for this base, but uh, looks like that Ish does have some Percivals in here. They're going to be denying those engineers the chance to build the uh, uh, build their victory monument over uh, West Mania's base. Uh, meanwhile, it looks like that this, the Flapjack Army. It looks like it reached out and destroyed these extractors and then moved south to the base, but these restorers are going to take care of it. There isn't any flak in here, but Megatron does have his huge air force, which could take it out at any time if he wanted to. Looks like he's just going to do that right now. The ASF are going to move in, and then the restorers are going to go down. It's just too bad. Uh, let's see what else is going on here. So you have the, these two these two strap bombers moving down here, down the lake. Uh, it looks like the see where they're headed. Looks like that they're just headed down here. So he's just going to keep them down there to uh, probably to snipe something as soon as he sees it. Uh, these ASF are going to be moving way too close to uh, Eco News Base, so these uh, flak are going to do some damage to them. And it looks like that... Let's see how, the nu how far the nuke is. The nuke is built. The, the nuke silo is built, I should say. The nuke itself is not loaded yet. And Ish just built an experimental unit. It is a fat boy. So that could do some damage if he can get it within range of one of these fire bases right here. Another attack launch from uh, Ciro. We see that one is going. Looks like it's. It's go, looks like it's going after this extractor right here. What am I hearing? I'm hearing this flak. These uh, s these uh, spy planes are flying over this flak right here. And it looks like it is going to take out that T2 cat extractor from uh, Megatron. Going to do a little bit of damage to his eco, but Megatron is doing fine. He's got a bunch of T3 mechs in his base. Uh, T3 and T2, so he's not completely developed yet, but he is getting there. Uh, meanwhile, it looks like that Megatron has completely air blocked uh, Pappy's commander, and he's strat bombing Pappy. Pappy's down to 2,500 health. Uh, he doesn't have any air force, and he can't build it with. He can't build any with this going here. So we'll see if he gets out of this. Uh, he's building a shield plus a, 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 a transcender, one of the the, the Aeon Sam. So he is. So he is going to be able to defend itself, but this shield is not going to be able to stand to uh, strat defense very long. But it doesn't look like he needs to. It looks like the strats are already destroyed. He probably has some other... Yeah, he's got some other uh, SAMs in the area. So he, so he did have some anti-air, so he looks like he's going to be fine if he builds up and uh, f repairs his commander. Uh, meanwhile, this fat boy is moving closer. Let's see what the fat boy's range is on this map. All right, so it is. It's starting to enter right into Ciro's uh, little base. As, uh, it's going to enter a little bit of range into Sierra's base. Looks like he is going to take out all three uh, attack launchers at once. Look how he is scouting. Uh, looks like that the uh, fat boy is going to move a little bit closer. Probably just going to inch closer to the base and take out all these factories as soon as it gets there. Meanwhile, you have a huge horde of fervors from Pappy. Pappy did finally get that. He finally had gotten that uh, factory up and he did get, build a bunch of fervors. He's going to move uh, closer into this area, but uh, fervors are not Medusas, and they can't hold their own against higher tech units, at least not usually. Uh, looks like that uh, Ciro is running away from the fat boy, as he should. 
Uh, but Ikonu got a Yithoda up, so if he get if Ikonu can get this Yithoda in range of this fat boy, he can kill it. But he might not be able to kill the fat boy and this monkey lord from Zakus. So you got two uh, experimentals that complement each other very well here. You have the um, the monkey lord that has a really high amount of low range damage, then you have this fat boy that has a medium amount of long range damage. Uh, so you so you can't kill the megalith the the uh, fat boy up close without without falling prey to the monkey lord. You can't kill the monkey lord without falling prey to the megalith. Not the megalith, the uh, fat boy. And it looks like that Yathoda has seen what's happening and is going to be pulling back. The shield is going to go down to the immense damage from the fat boy fire. The navy down here is still bombarding. It's completely cleaned out everything in sieges and uh, Ciro's base. Well, it looks like that this nuke is 80% complete, and they haven't scouted it yet. At least I don't think they have. Uh, looks like that the Athoda is going to uh, try to sn uh, snake its way around this area. The fat boy can still shoot at it from above this area. Uh, they just arcs right over the... Uh, here, let me zoom in a little bit. See, the fat boy shots just arc right over the, uh, uh, the craters here, and then they still attack the Athoda. It's about two-thirds health now. And the, the Ciro's base is completely destroyed, even though Eco Noob's base is relatively untouched. He did get those shields down, but he didn't do any major damage to the uh, on the inside. Give me one scout for me for Nuke. I assume that uh, that uh, Siege wants to know where everything here is, because it looks like he's he's that Nuke is almost completed. But there's the sky, scout planes. It looks like that Megatron is going to scout the Nuke. There it is, and they they don't know how long how well it's just loaded, but they can see that it's there. So if they're going to want to kill that as soon as they can, it looks like that the uh, looks like that the Yathoda did catch the megalith away from the fat boy, and the Yathoda killed it. I'm not sure if it had any health, it had any help, uh, but the Yathoda did kill the the uh, monkey lord, and it's going to try to uh, snake its way towards the fat boy. The fat boy is going to move a little bit closer. It's going to take out these, uh, going to be swarmed by these Percivals, and even if it could get close to the to the fat boy, it's not going to stand up to these Percivals and the. Uh, uh, the Thoda is going to go down. Looks like that he does have. Looks like Eagle Noob has scouts going out, try, probably trying to find a target for this nuke. And the nuke is loaded, but it's not firing yet. He's building another Thoda, but uh, he's got to fire this nuke. Uh, do they have any? Uh, do they have any anti nuke? If they have, didn't know it was there, they couldn't have seen it. Uh, the fat boy is going to. It's just going to stay. It's going to stay here. If he surprised him not trying to attack the nuke, do they have any anti? Did they build any anti nuke yet? It doesn't look like it. So if he just gets one nuke out, fire. Uh, Econoob's telling him to fire. Uh, but Siege is waiting before he can kill, uh, before he can uh, try to find Zox Commander so he can kill it. But you, but you, you always want to fire a nuke unless you're trying to, fi unless you want to destroy it, uh, an anti-nuke. You don't want to wait to fire a nuke because the, the, the more damage you do sooner, the, the harder it is for the opponent to uh, recover from it. And it looks like that the, 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 the Fat boy is getting closer and closer to the base. This Otham is going to go down to the uh, Fat Boy fire, but the Fat Boy isn't. Doesn't look like the Fat Boy is going to do it. It looks like that the strap armors are coming in. They just broke the shields, and there's another strap armor coming. In. Ooh, that's painful. One strap bomb took it down to 550 health, if it, and they just need one more shot. Oh, it's the nuke silo's opening. It's oh, <laughs> the, the silo was just about to fire, but it got destroyed right before, and there's. There's Ego Noob. He's not having it. He's just going to control Chaos Com. The nuke was just about to fire, and they did, and it got killed on them. Looks like that Pappy has this this Galactic class moving up to try to take out the Fat Boy. But Siege has, looks like that Siege has quit too. There's his commander, safe and sound, but it's going to blow up. The Fat Boy is moving closer, closer to the Fat Boy. If it can catch it, it'll, it can destroy the Fat Boy, but. Uh, both of his front players just rage quit, and uh, yeah, I I don't like to see rage quits, but you you know you lose a nuke right when it's firing, and it, it it's so frustrating. And and the uh, the game was honestly over at that point. I I don't I don't like it when they quit, but I don't honestly blame them for it. And there's Ciro's commander. Ciro just blew himself up too. So all of his front players are down. It looks like just Pappy, Pappy against the world, the world minus Westmania anyway. And it looks like that the uh, the the Galactic class is going to move closer and closer to the Fat Boy, but there's a Megalith over here from Zok, and especially with all the fire from the Fat Boy, the Galactic class is just going to go down. 
Ah, oh, so. Ah, oh, you dude, it's such such a case of nuclear blue balls. When, when, when it's just about to fire and then it gets destroyed. I've had that happen to me before and it's so frustrating. <laughs> and with the death of his Galactic Colossus, Pappy's going to blow up his commander too. So, Valar Morghulis, Team 1 has fallen. Oh. <laughs> it's... <laughs> what, what can you do other than just laugh? <laughs> just laugh. He, 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 wait, he was waited too much to find Zoxamander and... Team one ended up. Team two ended up responding and killing the nuke. <laughs> all right, so I hope you all enjoyed the cast uh, as much as I had fun casting it. Uh, it's an interesting map. If you don't have it, download it because it is it, it is an interesting map to play on. Um, it, it got some interesting games on it. Uh, so uh, that's it for me, guys. Uh, this is ever. I, I hope you all have a great day. Uh, play Subcom. It's the best game on the planet. And uh, uh, this is everywhere. One six. Signing out.